Oops, I guess I messed up that visual effect when I changed to a camera with a different line of sight than the one we used earlier. The relationship between my hands and the whiteboard appears to have changed, and I can no longer crush tanks. That visual shift is called parallax, and it can ruin a shot with an air gun just as easily as it ruined my camera shot. Stay tuned to find out how. Hello, welcome to the Tiny Ballistics Lab. Today we'll be learning more about the visual principle called parallax. As we saw earlier, parallax simply means that objects seem to change position in relation to one another when viewed from different angles. Parallax can be quite useful in everyday life. Our brains use parallax to compare two different two-dimensional images it receives from our eyes and it merges it into one three-dimensional image. I can also think of another scenario where parallax might not be so useful. You guessed it. When you're aiming an air gun, you don't want the crosshairs to appear to change position in relation to the target, as your eye location inevitably changes slightly between shots. That eye movement adds a new variable to the sighting system, which will undermine all of your other sighting efforts. After all, accuracy and repeatability go hand in hand. I'm only moving the camera, or line of sight, in this scene. The rifle is perfectly stationary and aligned to the target. Let's take a few shots so we can see the effects of parallax. We'll be using the Benjamin Phoenix air rifle with the stock 4x scope. I'll be moving my eye from the right then to the left of center between shots. Do you think the parallax will affect the shots in our tiny test range? Let's go down there now to find out. The first three shots will be into lane 1. I'll be using Crossman Premier Wad Cutter 177 caliber air gun pellets for all of the shots. Wad cutter style pellets have a flat tip which cut neat holes in targets. Let's start shooting! The target will be exactly 10 feet away from the muzzle of the rifle. Because of the parallax in the scope, I overcorrected to the left, barely scoring one. As you may have expected when I moved my head the other way, I overcorrected to the right. Now I'm going to try to center my eye between all that parallax. That third shot wasn't too bad, but it took a tremendous amount of concentration and maybe even a little skill to keep my head that steady and centered. Certainly not an ideal situation when you're going for repeatability. I want to shoot the same pellet out of the same air rifle, but with less parallax. So we're going to swap out the Benjamin's standard 4x scope for a reflex style red dot sight. Most reflex sights, including the Sightmark brand sight we'll be installing today, require mounting to a Picatinny style rail, which my Benjamin doesn't have. So I picked up this UTG adapter, which clamps onto the rifle just like the stock scope and has a nice Picatinny rail to mount our sight onto. Picatinny adapters, designed for air guns, have an important little set screw that keeps the sight from walking off. Here I extend the set screw out a little bit to make installation a breeze. Now that our Picatinny adapter is secured, we can install our reflex sight with a simple quick release. A reflex style sight uses lenses to superimpose the reticle at infinity. Even when the eye moves around, the reticle remains in a relatively fixed location, allowing for very consistent shots. Now that we reduced the parallax in our sighting system, let's take three shots in lane two. I'll be moving my head around by three millimeters, just like I did earlier.
Well, I guess we got rid of most of the parallax. All three shots were bullseyes, with the third barely touching the holes that were made by the prior two shots. If you recall, our last target looked a little more rough. I hope you enjoyed learning more about parallax and how to reduce it in your sighting system. Thank you for watching! Before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Did you know subscribing to my channel is completely free and you'll be alerted to my new episodes? I'm sure you'll love this other video that I made. Click on it now!